Let's now take a look at both of our maps. My maps, go to our tutorials. There's the first player map, and there's the GM map. Gorgeous. Now this is still not the best map that we could make, but it's a pretty good start. What I now suggest you do is that you play with the style sheets that come with Campaign Cartographer. One of the things I think that many Campaign Cartographer beginners fail to understand is that, yes, this is a complex program, and yes, you can draw everything yourself, but when you've got a feature as powerful as the sheets, you can actually automate a great deal of your mapping. In this particular map, our black borders and our coastal fades and even our little beach fades were all automatically created using just one sheet. All we had to do was just draw a chunk of land. Likewise, our mountains and our forests really just required one sheet, a contour sheet used to create lovely colour pattern backgrounds. By using sheets in this manner, you can automate, I would say, a good 90% of your mapping artwork letting you focus on the fun part of mapping which is thinking about how the worlds all interact and who's where and who's doing battle with whom. I've created many many different types of style sheets for use of different types of mapping. Today I've just shown you one of the easy ones. This was really a mapping 101 course. I certainly hope that you do continue to play with Campaign Cartographer and experiment with the sheets and really just uncover all of what they can do for you. If you have questions, please feel free to email me at joe at thesweenies.com. I'm always happy to answer questions. Sometimes I might be a little bit slow. I do have other things to do in my life than just mapping, but I do like mapping a lot. And with Campaign Cartographer, it certainly creates a great deal of fun. Good luck and good mapping.